Hello geezers, welcome back to another video. So today we have the exposing backpack build. Now, it's not necessarily a backpack build, it's more of a win streak build. <laughs> and if I was doing a win streak on clown, this is a kind of build I would use. Uh, let's go over the perks and then I'll kind of explain why it is a win streak build. So we have agitation, this allows us to move quicker whilst we are um, carrying a survivor by 18%. This can also be combined with yellow bottles to go to 28%. And our uh, terror radius gets increased by 12 meters, which combos with starstruck. Also, agitation allows us to get to our skirt trucks quicker and transport a survivor across the map um, easier to starstruck multiple survivors in the area, as well as get to the skirt truck quicker, which is great. We then have skirt truck gift of pain. Now, Gift of Pain isn't used enough. It definitely should be, though. Um, it will give them a sloppy butcher effect, so they suffer from hemorrhage and mangled upon getting off of a scourge hook, which is a 25% slower heal, and they bleed more. If they do decide to go through that 25% heal, that's slow down for us, but also they do gens 16% slower, which is pain for the survivor. They hate going against this, and I've had multiple people complain when I've used Gift of Pain just for how powerful it is, but it's not meta enough at the moment, and I think it should be brought into meta just for how much slowdown it gives you. Now, it's easily countable by people taking hits, but a lot of the time there won't be, especially against this build. Um, that's the reason why we have it. It's a good slowdown perk. And then we're combining this with Pain Res, so we can damage the furthest gen um, by 15%, so removing 13 seconds off of it. Um, the nearest gen to max progression. This allows just for gen regression across the board. It's a very good perk. You'll be seeing it in a lot of builds. It's a very top tier perk. Now, we're combining both the um skirt chucks and agitation with starstruck anyone in our terror radius whilst we are carrying the survivor becomes exposed and upon hooking someone or leaving my terror radius, it will last 30 seconds now exposed allows us to insta down people from healthy state and because we're moving them around with such a big terror radius usually to a skirt chuck so many survivors become exposed because of our massive terror radius this allows us to create a snowball just down, 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 and we nearly finished the game in seconds with this build, but we wanted to let the game go on a little longer just to showcase it a little more. Um, the first game we have, it goes all right, but we don't really get that much value. In the second game, it fully shows how the build works. We're combining um, agitation with a cigar box. So when we use a yellow bottle, we can see people through the walls uh, within 16 meters. We can use this to detect people getting in lockers. We can use this to detect immersive gamers that are hiding. It's so strong. And then we are using the garnish makeup kit to allow us to become invigorated for two more seconds, which are seven seconds worth of wall hacks, as well as seven seconds extra of that 28% speed boost instead of 18% absolutely terrifying going against this build it seems like it's unfair there's wall hacks there's insta towns there's gen regression there's gen slowdown it's absolutely unfair and if i was doing a win streak this is the build i would use just for the fact there's so much slowdown so much gen pressure and so much snowball going on hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and i'll catch you in the fog sanctum of wrath Ooh. okay wall hacks should be quite useful on this Okay, we're going to throw the yellow. We still have four bottles. That's one of the issues. But cigar box OP, so... Fucking hell. Why do I always check, like, the worst spawns? Hey, Nancy. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't get that more lovely. Go. Um, awaken awareness. Here, no. Anyone still here? Or did they run off? They ran off, okay.
I heard a footstep. There's still around this area. Beautiful. Okay, he's gonna be running straight ahead. Yep. That was beautiful. Oh, wrong goal. Let's see if we can get him to the sky truck over here. They're gonna be starstruck soon. There we go. So if we can get any wool pack value. No. Apparently getting anyone starstruck. That's leading to be a bit of an issue. Beautiful. Get Shaq out of the way. And let's go after her. An additional seven seconds may not seem like a lot, but an, or an additional two seconds might not seem like a lot. But it's actually quite a bit. So if we've got any sky trucks on this side, yeah, we do. Don't think there's anyone near enough though. Our terror just might reach these guys over here. But I'm not 100% sure about that. Oh shit, that's a deli. Okay, I'm fine with playing that. Decisive here. That's good. Probably run out like last second as well. See if we can find the little sneaky one. Where's the sneaky guy gone? The fact that we completely lost his aura is wrong. <laughs> We're losing auras here, people. Send help. I haven't seen the Hattie and we've seen Nancy once. Where would they do? Here she is. <laughs> I love this add on so much. Definitely top tier of long. Beautiful. Okay. We'll starstruck the people over there, and then what we'll do is we'll hopefully get some value out of the starstruck. Uh, unless they've already moved on, but I doubt it. This should be the Hattie. She went to the right, if I believe. Oh, he does have balanced, okay. Fair enough. You won't be able to mind down me here. Uh, 
Oh, it ran out straight away. Oh, not spin. See, you run a little bit of regression and a little bit of add-ons and everyone just drops. Oh, this is a fucking very good game. But it's going quite quick, even though we're not really getting much build pressure, so I think we'll do a second. Let's hear a scream here, then we're gonna find Hattie. So, okay. Jen got damaged, but I don't know which one that would be. I haven't seen the Hattie all game, basically. She's not in that corner. Keep kidding themselves on Hawk. Can't see Aurora. Shinalaka. No clue. I haven't been able to find this Hattie all game. Really fucking weird. I can't find it anywhere, I swear. Oh, she's over here. Yeah, we saw the crow fly. to be one. Shit, do we get it? I don't know if we do. Oh, there we go. I mean, that was a... It was a decent game, but I feel like we can get better. Maybe if we don't run, no, distressing probably wouldn't work on it. But 30 seconds to find someone, that's the issue. You kind of have to know roughly where people are beforehand. To then get value from it. Hmm. Deliverance of Felix, deliverance of Yui, yeah. Oh, God, okay. Because we spawned this side. Will someone still be a shack? That's the question. Uh, go check. Because someone could still spawn a shack. Yep, someone did. Hello, lovely. Right, we're getting no value from Pain Rose here. Well, no value from Starstruck, but that's completely fine. With the cigar box, we were able just to get that down. And that was a perfect amount of pressure. Let's actually reload in yellow, and let's see if anyone else is here. Oop, okay. Okay, they're going to be either that corner or the opposite corner. 
from where we spawned here, the Nia. Where is she going? Okay. Oh, I got caught on something. That's unlucky. Nia's gone up. Let's see whereabouts. Hello, darling. The wall hack value jumping in lockers. Got to love it. We should be able to get into this hook as well. Okay, that's got the Kate and everyone. Um, everyone here is starstruck. They're probably inside Shack. Yep, they are. Let's see if we can find them. We should be able to get this with literally just the 10% speed boost. Perfect. Alright, let's get her on the hook. In basement, and then let's get the Kate on the hook as well. We see the other person next to us. They're going into basement. Well, they're going to try pull. I should have hit the other UE in that situation. That would have been better for me. A bit more pressure. But it's completely fine. We'll let this game go on longer than it should. Or we'll let it go on a bit longer. We have a lot of pressure on them. We didn't get to see the Neo. So if we can get a little more... Yeah, I thought someone like a jumped here. It worked! <laughs> Get Tekken Kenzie text me. There is no fucking way that worked. They're definitely starstruck. Okay, what's she doing? You're up here. Okay, you're a deli. That's not how that works. They didn't return to Shark. Okay, good to know. Yeah, they're still at main. <laughs> Off the locker. We should be able to get hit here, and then if she wants to loop the fire engine or the snowplow, we can. That's fine. We catch up. Ooh, nice dead heart. That was unlucky on my part. You won't be able to get this next one though. Oh, 
Oh, she's playing this well. Just caught you there, my lovely. Oh, whoops. Let's get some Starshock value and hopefully... Okay. This should cover, like, all of my building, hopefully. So let's see if we can find anyone in main. No one's main. Okay, they're going to be Shaq. All here. Beautiful. You want to scare a shock? I wonder where they've gone. Oh no. Oh, generally thought they were in there. Not in there, okay. There you are. Down. Eight hook, possibly. Just the amount of value we're getting from this build, just the auras all together when they're being sneaky. Just everything we're able to do with this build is absolutely insane. Alright, let's see if we can like kind of camp halfway here. Yeah, we see the Yui. <laughs> oh, you don't want to go against Shaq. You don't want to go into Shaq against me, my lovely. I'm going to throw yellow there. Oh, lucky. Guaranteed medium vault. You're not doing this again, are you? on the wall. Right, let's get her over here, then everyone's going to be starstruck as well. And then we can build up even more pressure from there. Yep, those guys are starstruck. Hook. Yep, beautiful. Uh, let's find the other Yui whilst we're on it. Okay, Yui's in the locker. Here. Perfect. That's fine by me. You don't want to loot this, do you, madam? No, you don't. <laughs> GG's to these guys, they played very well. Do we have a hook on that side? Yeah, we do. Luckily. Very well played. Look over there. That's a GG's. Very, very well played to all of those. Just our build was a little better. Being able to get those early downs as well when they're getting in the lockers. Absolutely perfect. Right, um... Let's have a look.
Oh, they are live. Anyway, let's have a look at their build. They, we have a deliverance on near that she got to use. Proved herself to do Jen's a little quicker sprint burst. Windows of opportunity. We had the flashbang, which we saw. With a sprint burst, windows, adrenaline. Head on, flashbang with resilience. Uh, gen rush combo with hyper focus stake out. Dead hard, which we saw. And no circle of healing that I believe we saw. Actually, that was at the start with a gem rush toolbox. So we had septic and a full heal. Um, flashlight, flashlight, yeah. With GG's well played to those. They played very, very well. Uh, GG's well played with the you we've had on. GG's, man. You played that very, very well. GG's do...